Hello YouTube, I'm the Mighty Goods of, and today we are here to do My Gemstone Collection Part 10. Uh, we're getting into the bag today. Now, I already have some stones out. This is actually the fourth time trying to make this video. Uh, what keeps happening is I accidentally leave my cursor over the stop, and uh, I keep accidentally turning the video off. <sighs> I've learned my mistake. So, all these rocks I've done, I'm just going to casually slap them over here and mix them up. So, uh, we get some diversity, so it's a little different than the last episode. Uh, right off the bat, uh, some guys over here to show real quick. I mean show real quick. I'm not even going to go into an analysis on them. I'm about close that. Sorry, guys. Cool little rocks. These rocks will be, uh, on, uh, breaking rocks. There's a big old garnet in there. If you guys can see that. Here, we'll go down a little more. You guys can see that gemstone reflecting off in there. All that, like, not same looking stuff. There you go, I licked it. Now it really stands out, I think. But this is just a basic rock with some uh, copper on it that I'm going to break. Another uh, granite with a big with a gemstone in it. And this is a small granite with a bunch of small gemstones on it that I'm going to break. Yeah, now that we're done doing a fast analysis on those guys, let's go into the uh, in-depth analysis of all these other guys. So we're going to grab this one right here. This is a... Uh, my apologies, I just slightly peeked in my mouth. This is a granite. You can see all, this lit, all the stuff on them. I don't see any uh, gemstones forming. These were all found in North Carolina, so... Yeah. See, he's got a little quartz layer right there. Very pretty. So, yeah. A little granite. Let's move on. We have a uh, little stone here. He's got some little quartz bits sticking out of them. You know, we're going to add this guy to uh, the break list for uh, breaking rocks. I like him. He looks a little geode-like. Get them out here. Uh, tweezers? There you are. Look at that. That bit sticking out right here. That's a... All that's sticking out, that's a quartz right there. Quartz crystal structure. All over. He's got quartz crystal underneath there. So yeah, I like him. He's actually going to be put to the side to go with uh, breaking rocks. We've got this guy here. This guy is just... Wow. All sorts of layering on him and quartz crystal all over. Very pretty. You see, he's got quartz crystal here, here. Well, mainly he's all, he's made of different types of quartz. He's got different colored quartz. So yeah, very pretty. Looks like a tiny axe head. Got this little guy here. He's a uh, looks like to be just a granite. He's got some uh, quartz in the back here. Quartz here, but yeah, this is just a. Oh little tiny granite. There's nothing really too special about him. We have hmm, some type of stone here. I can see a little quartz deposit sticking out of it, but I don't think it's nothing too special. So yeah, I'll give a palm shot. We're going to move on. I'm sorry guys, I'm, I feel kind of unmotivated. That last video was such a good run of this. I was going to do some editing on it, but you know what, I don't even think I'm going to edit. I'm just going to upload it raw, like I usually do. Oh, <laughs> like I always have actually. I have been trying to edit on the editing, uh, on the editing thing on the phone app. So yeah, this is a granite here. This full side sparkly, looks like he's got copper on him. Little brown specks, if you guys can see that. All the little brown traces in him. I don't know if it's copper or what, but uh, it's something. He's pretty. Oh, yep, yeah, palm shot. Woo! I'm tired. I don't think I'll be making another part of this for a little bit. So we have another granite here. This one has little quartz deposits all over it. So yeah, we'll just rotate it in hand. So yeah, no gemstones on him. This is a pretty little granite though. So yeah, we're gonna move on. Wow, look at that. This guy's got quartz deposits on him. 
He's got a little quartz deposit here, right there. Got some right here. Definitely, that's definitely seeable in the right light. There you go, you guys can see that, right? A little quartz in there. Give me a little palm shot, no, move on. We have another, ooh, yep, this is a granite right here. Now, up in North Carolina where I found these, some of the granites had gemstones developing in them, like the ones I showed at the start. This guy here, he's got some gemstones right there. All over his outer, they're just really small. You can see them on camera, all the little pinkish dots there. Whatever color you want to say, all the things that are not gray or black or white are little gemstone dots. See, so yeah, little gemstones on there. Little gemstone rock. Put him over there. We got a, a little tiny guy coming in. Wow, look at him. A few very tiny gemstones developing. Oh, God, I threw the tweezers. I tried to pick them up and they yeeted. Get this guy at the tweezers. Where's that gemstone at? Right there. He's got that little gemstone developing on the tip there. Don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, this is a lot of just like quartz crystal and a little black stuff all mixed together. And you guys can see that little not same color thing on there. That's the uh, little little um, gemstone, whatever it is. We have this stone, who uh, looks like an egg. I'm gonna call it the egg stone. You know what? Yeah, these white guys right here. I'm going to call him Eggstone. For, I don't know why. This guy looks like a different colored version of Eggstone. I'll call him Tan Eggstone. This is White Eggstone. I don't know. There's something to call him. Call him Little Eggstones. But, yeah. Got some uh, little... Oh, that gives me an idea, actually. Not the Eggstone, but I was just thinking to myself. Got some little quart deposits all over him. He's got a little vein right here, actually. This little... Vein leads to some quartz up in there, but yeah, he's real smooth. I like his feel. That's a little interesting rock. Got uh, another little egg stone coming in. This one's got some noticeable little uh, chunks on him. He's got some quartz right there. Bring it up the camera right here. Very pretty. I might be giving some of these away uh, when I'm at school. We have an, oh wow, look at that. He's got mica on him. Look at that reflection, guys. He's got some mica in him. Oh wow. I don't know if you guys see that little black slit right there. The tweezer was covering it, but right there on the tip of the end of the tweezer where that little shade mark ends. I think that is a... Right here, right on the end of that. I think that's a mica layering on the inside. So there's a layer of mica underneath this. That's cool. He's got little, he's made of quartz. Got a lot of little quartz all over it. I just farted. But yeah, uh, that's definitely one of the more interesting ones. Oh, wow, look at that. Got a layered stone here. I am... I'm tired guys so yeah we have a little layering layered stone here so you have layer number one looks like there's another layer here a little small one that goes down one here one here and one here but if you look on this side there's only appears to be four you have one two no make it yep yeah, four or five you have one here so you have that little top layer you have this guy here who runs through this guy and then I would say this little orange thing that go, goes in and he curves down is his own little layer. But we have a lot of quartz right here mixing them with regular, uh, I call it basic stone. Some mica or ignin, ign, not ignitus, that's lava stuff, I think. Some sort of, definitely not pri, pyrite, but some sort of reflective stone up there. A little palm shot. Pretty little stone, so uh, let's move on. We have a granite here. I just want to say real quick, guys, that I'm not always 100% sure on these. So, yeah. I'm just giving off what the, I, what 
I think they are. I'm obviously not a geologist. I'm just some kind of fat teenager that's doing this because he has nothing else to do. So yeah, I'm just a little... Um, sorry, my brain, brain's crapping up for a minute. Uh, uh, whew, I'm getting unconfident. Jesus. But uh, yeah, some uh, little granite here. My apologies. He's got some uh, little black spots on him. They're pretty. I think the light is actually overexposing them. I'm not really sure. Looks like it on camera to me. Here, we're gonna actually turn him up more and see if the spreading of the light in a different direction helps. All right, yeah, this guy. This is a stone that has layers on it. Once again, it looks like the layer, the other layered stone that we just showed. Uh, I can see an obvious layer right here. I have a look at this side. You can see the line kind of go through. There. You can see two of them. So, yeah. This is just like a big stone that has layers on it. I don't think I said this, but uh, this is just like kind of regular rock bags. And I know there's quartz in it, but... Majority of the stuff I just found interesting and I uh, put in there. So, yeah. We're going to get free of these guys out of the way because I do want to talk about some other stuff. We have free egg boys, as we'll call them. The eggy boys. You got some quartz developing right there on the top. Very pretty. Some quartz in there. It looks like he broke a fragment off a much larger rock. We have an egg boy here with some... Uh, Little crystal structures on them. I'm trying to go slow so you guys might be able to see it. We'll get the tweezers out. Got one right there. The tweezers right on it. It's a little quartz sample. Is that overexposure getting worse? How about we just move the light out of the way? Now we can't see. Hmm. This is an oddity, people. Maybe I should record during daytime. But yeah, got some little quartz in them. And this guy's got some mica reflecting off and a little quartz in him. Give him a little palm shot. And, uh, yeah. You know, I only have time to show off a few more. Because I want to spend the last, like, two minutes talking about something else. On the little idea I have. My apologies. This is a quartz right here. A uh, little problem we have is that if you, uh, like... A year or two ago, I mixed them up, and it's been a pain in the ass to get them all unmixed ever since. So yeah, and we have a little quartz here. You can see all the little uh, quartz crystals. This guy right here. Tip of the shade of the tweezer. That's a little quartz right there. But uh, yeah, he's all quartz, all over. Pretty little stone. Let's move on. But let's know. I got an idea. This is going to be a quick little idea. So, I got these from North Carolina. And for those of you who are new, it's covered up. I have a blanket over there right now. It's a mess. I'm going to clean it later. Shit happened. But, uh, I don't know. That's the bucket for digging dirt. If you're new to the channel, it's a series I do. Where we go out, we have a rock hill on my property. I go out and did some samples and we see what we can find on the channel. And we sift it out. I could get a bucket full of stuff from North Carolina from my grandpa's property. And I could bring it up here and we could do it here. It's a possibility I'm going to have to talk to my parents about. And yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to say. I don't know why I'm thinking about spending two minutes on it, but that's something I just wanted to get out, so... Possible special episode in the future. Uh, uh, there are a few special episodes. It's going to take more than one day to get through. Five gallon bucket. So yeah. I am the Mighty Good Zero. I hope you enjoyed the video if you make it this far. My statistics say people don't, but that's fine. And... I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not going to ask. You know what? Here, I'll ask. Like all typical YouTubers, like and subscribe and share this video. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys uh, when I do the next episode. Bye.